AI is getting bigger and bigger every day as the world is advancing. It's getting bigger. It's moving from being just smart to super smart. This is mind blowing. It is mind boggling. It is smart. It is amazing to see what this AI can actually do. And I've tried using it on several things and I've tried asking it several questions. I've tried having a conversation with it and I've also asked it to code for me. Guess what? This AI did that. And I'm going to show you how to use this AI, how to use it to your advantage and how to use it, um, how it can help you work effectively. And you can also use this AI to make money for yourself. There are different possibilities to this AI. So if you're part of the people that are scared that AI is going to take your job, I want you to change your mentality and restructure your mind to see that this AI is a tool for you to get things done faster and for you to do things that you could not do before. Chat GPT, write an SEO article about backlinks. Great, it has started doing its thing. It is just spitting out everything right here and you can see what is happening right here. It's writing an article I've not seen an AI do something as smart as this. I know there are different AIs, but ChatGPT, the bots in ChatGPT, way, way advanced. This is just an article. I could have just paid someone on Fiverr or Upwork or on Guru to do this for me. In conclusion, backlinks are an important aspect of SEO. They help search engines understand the relevance and popularity of your website. This is absolutely amazing. My name is Charles and I'm passionate about people and businesses. I love to see people and businesses grow. And that's what I do in this channel. I create amazing videos. So if you have not subscribed, subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification so you see more videos like this. Like this video if you get value. Drop a comment in the comment section. So ChatGPT is an AI that was made by a team called OpenAI. So this AI is one of the best things that have happened in the tech industry. In fact, this best thing, one of the best things that have happened in recent times in every industry because this AI is not just limited to work properly in a particular industry. It can work with you. It can work for you just like an assistant. So ChatGPT is a language model developed by the OpenAI team. It is based on the GPT-3 architecture, which is generative pre-trained transformer. And it is like one of the most advanced language processing systems in the world. So ChatGPT is capable of generating human-like text and it can do it on almost any topic including news, stories, or even code. You can ask the AI to code for you and it's gonna code for you. So one of the key features of this AI, ChatGPT, is the ability for it to learn from large data, learns from large amounts of data, and it has been trained for years on massive data sets of over 10 billion words. So it allows it to understand human language, how we speak, what we want, to understand when we're asking a question, when we are suggesting for you to do something. And ChatGPT is also effective when it comes to writing summaries. You can ask it to write or to summarize a document for you. Let's say you have a five page document or you have a 10 page document, or you just want to. Um, summarize something maybe you're going through the internet so say we want to summarize this document what we are going to do maybe we just come here uh copy this copy this go to chat gpt type if you want to summarize this keyword is very important tl dl and then upper quotes, put it, paste whatever you copied, put it in it, and press enter, and then send it. It's going to summarize this for you. So let's see what it's going to do. It's spitting out the summary of what I just gave to it. 
So if this is an essay or if this is um, maybe a document that I need to read and summarize and I don't want to just read the whole thing, I could just paste it here and tell it to summarize it for me. It's going to summarize it for me. Understanding how to use um, this AI chat GPT is very important because if you don't give the right input, or if you don't give the right prompts, you might not get the right output. You might not get the right answer, the answer that you that you really want. So in order for you to highly benefit or highly profit from this um, chat GPT, you need to give the correct prompts and precise questions to what you want. And I see this AI is a strong competition to Google. And I see myself using this AI more often than using Google. So Google would just be to, you know, get the overall research ideology and all of that. And then chat uh, GPT may be also be used to do um, some deep, precise research. So um, if you take a few notes, maybe you're discussing with someone or you're in class or you're doing something and you're, you're just taking notes, taking bullet points down, chat GPT can summarize it for you. It's able to summarize all the points that you've made and spell it out. So let's try something. We are going to do this. Notes to summary, inflation, the stock market, money is printed. And we're going to ask chat GPT to summarize these points for us by adding the keyword notes to summary. So when you add notes to summary, it's just going to summarize whatever points you put out. So for example, I use, let's do this like this. So we say notes to summary. These are the notes, inflation, the stock market, how money is printed. And, we are, and ChatGPT is going to summarize it, turn the bullet point to summary. So, and yeah, it's just doing exactly the same thing. Inflation is the rate at which the general level of prices. This is, this is insane. I just gave it three points and it's giving me a summary of the three points. In a go this is crazy i can tell it if i wanted to um to make this longer i can say make this longer and then it's going to talk more about those points and you can decide to say okay make this 1000 words or this should be 2000 words or this article should be 3000 words whatever you're doing so you can instruct it, not just that, to reduce the formality in which it's um, writing the output. So, so ChatGPT um, uses natural language processing to enable chatbots to have natural and engaging conversations with the users. And it has also customizable templates and flexible integration options. So there are different chatbots that having conversations with different with millions of users or i don't know how many users um chat gtp or open ai has now so there are different chatbots that are having conversations with users so one chatbot is currently having conversation with me and let's ask that chatbot this question let's ask it write a thank you note to my friend for coming to my birthday so let's ask it to do this and we're going to send this and see what it does. Dear friend, I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you for coming to my birthday dinner. It meant so much to me that you look, took out time out of your busy schedule to celebrate with me. Your presence made this. This, this is, let's add a name. We can do something again. Say his name is Alex. And so what will happen. Dear Alex, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for coming to my birthday dinner. It meant so much that you took out of your busy schedule to celebrate with me. Your presence made the evening even more special and I am truly grateful. Thank you for being there. I hope we can get together again soon. Best regards, my name. So it just created or it just wrote this thank you note for me. And I can do something if this is too formal or less formal, I could say, okay, make this less for now or make this more for now let's say 
um, make this more formal. Wow, this is crazy. Dear Alex, I hope this letter finds you well. I'm ready to express my sincerest gratitude for your attendance at my bed dinner. Your presence added immeasurably to the success of the evening and I am deeply appreciative of the time you took to celebrate with me. Like, this is, this is amazing. Or oh, this chat GPT can basically do anything. I'm going to ask you to write a contract for me because since we are just uh, playing around with the AI to see what it can do. So, and I'm also looking towards, I'm looking forward to seeing how this AI would be used in the future because this is a super smart AI. We can ask it, okay, generate a cover letter for me or let's say generate a cover letter for a mid-level software developer job. So people might argue that, okay, that um, most of these output or results are going to, you know, have some plagiarism issues and all of that. But I think whatever output that gives to you, it will be left for you to fine tune it and make it yours. So he says, I'm writing to apply for the position of a mid-level software developer at your company. I'm confident that my skills and experience make me an ideal candidate for this role. I've been working as a software engineer for the past five years and I've gained expertise in variety of programming languages, including C++, Java, and Python. In my current position, I'm responsible for designing and implementing software solutions for a range of clients. I'm a strong team player. This just wrote a cover letter for me. <sighs> the world is advancing faster than we think it is and it's scaring a lot of people. People are scared of losing their jobs. I just wrote a blog post with this AI. It has just done cover letter for me. It has just done, it's just gonna help you reduce the time that you spend doing some form of silly research and all of that. So um, it is important that you grow with the world as it advances, because you don't want to be left out. Obscure yourself take advantage of the opportunities that come with the advancement. So we are going to also try out one last thing. We're going to ask it one question and we're going to do two more tests. The first one is going to be, uh, we're going to ask it to write a contract. So contract agreement. So this is just writing a contract for us. Mark and Spencer, my business partners, and we have decided to have equal shares on the return on investment of a software development project write a contract for this agreement. And here's the contract is drafting out for the agreement. There are several things you can um, use um, chat GPT for. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it's going to be used in the future. You know, the world is advancing faster than we think it is. And it scares so many people. People are scared of losing their jobs. People are scared that AI is going to take away their jobs. But on the other hand, I feel that um, it is important to grow with the world as the world grows and it advances. So upskill yourself and take advantage of the opportunities that come with advancement. So we are going to try something with ChatGPT. We are going to ask it, we are going to see if this works. We're going to ask it to generate a code for a currency conversion app. And it can do that for you. A few days ago, I was messing around with this AI and I asked it, write a Java code for, um, for a currency conversion web app. Here's a simple example of a currency conversion web app written in Java. Now, this is real time. Wow, this is, this is amazing. This is, this is insane. This is just a copy and paste and it has made it easy for you to just click here to copy the code and paste on your website. You have a currency converter on your website. So there are several web apps if that would help um, with SEO on your website. If you want to add uh, web apps to your website for searchability, for SEOs, for example, you might want to add a QR code generator or a business name generator on your website for SEOs. 
and not just um, for the sake of SEOs, people that would want to use a business name generator are business people. So it depends who your clients are or the kind of people you're looking for. So it didn't just drop the code, it also explained, um, did some explanation here. Yeah. So, so it can code for you, you can use it for coding, but it all depends on the kind of inputs that you put, the kind of questions that you put. So you might want to break your questions down to solve. Maybe if you don't get the right output or the right answer, you might want to consider breaking your answers down and asking it bit by bit. It's more like you're doing your research on Google, but this time around, it's giving you a precise answer and an answer um, that it's human like packaged not just popping out different links and reading out stuff like that so that's why i say this chat gpt is a strong competition for google so you, you you won't be surprised that in the next 10 years you'll have a personal assistant a full personal assistant ai i mean a machine just standing next to you and your assistant they can ask anything and you get it so this is crazy and this is what you should use ChatGPT for. If you have any questions or if you're having issues with anything, all you have to do is just to um, go to ChatGPT OpenAI and ask it whatever I want to ask. So there are so many possibilities to this and you can use it to write blog posts, but know that, um, you know, plagiarism, most of the information and uh, the data that is being trained on, it's gotten normal, it's gotten for, um, online. So you, you ought to know that if you want to avoid plagiarism, you need to fine tune the output that it gives. But to some extent, it's, yeah, it's good. It's, it's, it's somehow acceptable. People might not know the difference anyway. But case of plagiarism, you need to fine tune the output that it gives. So if you're writing a blog post and you want it to be S, uh, you know, SEO optimized, you also need to use it. You need to try it out and see if it can give you the right keywords, but there, it has limitations and it has limited knowledge of the world uh, till 2021. And sometimes it can generate incorrect information. So you don't, you're not too sure. You just have to double check and fact check whatever results that it gives to you. But overall, the app, the web app is good. And for the fact that it's free, which is good for marketing. Now, it's like people are giving it free marketing and all of that. So for the fact that it's free, take the opportunity to use it <laughs> to uh, make yourself more productive, to help you do stuff. It's already helping me do several things. So um, you want to try out chat gpt and um, see how it's going to help you in your daily activities it's going to help you perform better in work in your workplace it's going to help you perform better also in school since you'd also be doing the research a research of one hour that can take you one hour two days five hours with chat gpt it can only take you like two three minutes five minutes and you'll be done with that research so AI has come to stay and it's not going anywhere the only thing you have to do is just to stick with it and learn it, master it, use it to your advantage. And that's all I have to say. So if this is your first time on this channel, just subscribe, like this video. And if you've got to value, just drop a comment in the comment section. Maybe you have a question or you have something you want to share, just put it in the comment section. And I'll see you in this other video. Cheers.